What are you doing? Peek-a-boo! 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 What are you doing? And just in case any little kids are playing, watching, and I want to make sure they see the peek-a-boo. Have your parents play peek-a-boo with you. I'm sure they already do. And then maybe your grandparents can teach you, like, red light, green light, all that good stuff. Those are good games, too. And I Spy, Hide the Thimble, all the old stuff. You know, the we. well, that guy used to play all the time. Good morning, boys and girls. Actually, good afternoon, boys and girls. It's time for the Cap Guy Show, starring the Cap Guy. That's him and me. I'm JT, and we're in blistering Oklahoma. No, that's not the name of a town. It's 98 degrees, and we're sweltering and sweating, or at least he was. He was out yard selling again all day. And he's a worn-out puppy, but he got some good deals, and we're going to show you what we got and get on with the show. If you like what you see, hit that thumbs-up button. See, I got a thumb. And like and subscribe, and let's go. Let's go, cat guy. <laughs> All right, he's right. I'm tired. <laughs> I thrifted, and, uh, or not thrifted, but I yard sailed yesterday, and I yard sailed today, and I'm now yard selling on Saturday. I kept losing my bearings. I kept thinking it was Saturday, and I still had to get back here and get my packages to the post office. So today, I'm not going to go into what's sold. I did have 11 sales. Um, I've already got, I think, six today. I'm not going to go into those till tomorrow, since I'm not going to be pushed for time and make a long video, but I'm going to show you what I sourced today. And I got some good deals, so let's get into what I sold. How about that? Yeehaw. All right. First thing I sold, or not sold. I'm so used to selling stuff. I, that's what I said. Um, I got a Wii bundle, and it was one of the first yard sales I went to. And these are all the accessories. You got the tennis racket. You got the golf clubs. You got the chargers. You got a couple of steering wheels, a bunch of, uh, looks like a bat. I ain't even looked through all this yet. Batteries, more uh, wands, and plus the console, and all these games right here. Must be about 25 of them. She wanted 60, I got them for 50. None of them are big name brands uh, or desired. There's a few good ones in here, but most of them are kind of the children you know, uh, pajama party and let's see, uh, batting bash and wheel of fortune and trans. There's some transformers, wheel or no deal, deal or no deal. Um, Lego Batman, but they're all Wii games. Again, I got her for, for 50. I'll make my money back just off the video games plus some. And then the console was another good one. These were home runs. We found two of these. My brother's up here from Texas. We both picked them. Uh, he got one and I got one. We're going to sell them. And um, $5 for this. And if you comp this exact We Fit uh, or Fitbit One, these sell all day long. A ton of them sell daily for $125. Brand new in the package. So that's a home run. I got one of these, even though I have one of these in my car. I see them advertised all the time on TV. And for a dollar, I grab that thing because you uh, can never have enough phone holders when you're in the vehicle um this i paid uh i'm trying to remember if i paid five or ten for this but this comps at eighty dollars i think i paid ten and it comps at eighty bucks she said it hadn't been used hardly at all so needless to say i'll be checking that out i got all these games for a dollar a piece and again there's not a lot of them that have a ton of value but there are a few um this one was just full of them and i got all that for a dollar and there's mostly 360s in here. There's a few PS3s, and I think there was even a few Wii's. Um, I did find an Xbox 360. I paid a dollar a piece for those, and I paid thirty, I think twenty twenty dollars for the Xbox 360 with uh, a controller. And then I got a bunch of shoes. These were a dollar a pair. These are Eddie Bowers uh, men's looks like men's sandals in great condition. A dollar. You grab those. This is also, I believe, Eddie Bauer. Yes, it is. And a dollar. Okay. And I haven't spent the time to comp all these, but I know that they'll probably go for 25 or so. Uh, women's KDs. I paid five. I just need some cleaning up. 
Um, these are Levi's flip-flops, and only because they said Levi did I grab them for a dollar. I don't know what the value is, and I don't wear flip-flops that have this. I don't like that between my toes. I like slip-ons. Uh, Air Max, I paid, uh, I think I gave $3 for these. No more than 5 and I haven't even comped them, but anything I see Nike that are high tops that kids wear, I grab them. And then these Chacos, um, they're also a women's sandal. And I don't know why I picked them up. I didn't take the time to comp them because they were just a few dollars. I think I gave uh, four or five for these, but um, I seen them on, I think, Rally Roots show, and so that's why I grabbed them. Um, what else did I grab? This Hot Wheels set. It's got a bunch of cars in it. Um, for three dollars, uh, my brother picked this up. This comps at a hundred dollars. It's a Jensen turntable. Um, I also got that Wii Fit board over there that goes with all this Wii stuff. Uh, that'll add value. And then I got two bats for a dollar a piece, Mizuno and Easton, and I haven't comped those either. Um, trying to think, if there's anything else I got? I got some clothes and an Odessa Permian uh, hat and. Um, I did pick up a few games at a Goodwill yesterday. Again, nothing spectacular in value. I ran into a couple of pickers this morning that I know. One just subscribed to my channel, Creaker53Q, and um, and a retired Navy Chief Corpsman that lives here locally that, uh, that I've seen in a few of the Goodwills and um, other places uh, running around yard sales. And he got a late start. So, you know, the good thing about going to yard sales a little bit late is you might get a better deal but you're not gonna find some of the greater stuff unless you know, you're looking for stuff that everybody else, you know, we all have our own niche and what we look for. And some of the things that I picked up have a lot of value and some of them are mediocre value. Um, I'm looking around, not trying to distract from the video, but I'm trying to see if there's anything else I missed. Oh, I got this. It's a, and I don't know if it has a lot of value, but it's a Canon charger for a camera with a bunch of batteries. The lenses are worth a lot of money. I don't know about the chargers, but I gave a couple bucks for that. So, you know, it is what it is. Even if it's worth $15 or $20, it's, it's good money. Um, I had a bunch of sales after midnight last night. Again, I had 11 total. Nothing major money. Um, I think the biggest item was about a $30, $35 profit. Um, today, I've had some good ones and some really good ones. And I'll go into those tomorrow with what I sell today and from yesterday tomorrow again i don't want to keep the video real long and i didn't set up to show you the pictures of what i've sold um i know there's some clothing a few clothing items not much a uh, rodeo hoodie from the national finals from 2002 is one of the things i picked up and i got a few ball caps i think three or three of them were fedex i got a chicago bears hoodie all that was pretty cheap so i grabbed that there were a ton of yards so there must be a hundred yard sales out there and it's 98 degrees, so it's uh, a little hot to be having one, and I was supposed to have one, but I decided not to. But I will be doing it next weekend, so I may be YouTubing from my yard sale. Hopefully I'll have a good one, but I'll have a ton of DVDs and other hard goods that I'm getting rid of that some of it I've picked up at the bins and I haven't even taken the chance to, to fully comp or list. Um, and uh, I think that's about it, but I got some good deals. The Wii was a really good deal. The Xbox is a good deal. Those Fitbits are probably the best deal of the day. Five dollars into one hundred and twenty-five. I'll take that all day long. I haven't looked at the Hot Wheels to see what's what a value in there. Some of the newer homes you go to, they're not going to have the vintage Hot Wheels. But a full case of forty-eight cars in a Hot Wheel case for three dollars, you're going to turn around and flip that. I, I'm guessing twenty-five dollars, twenty twenty-five dollars. So um, if not, grandkids will be playing with Hot Wheels and. Kids don't seem to play with them as much as they did when I was a child. Um, I think that's about it. Um, still got stuff from yesterday. I got a comp. I did list a bunch of stuff last night. The pennants. <laughs> the pennants that I bought. If you see pennants out there, you grab them. I bought 24. I kept one because it's a Texas Longhorn one. And I paid a quarter a piece for just pennants. And... I've already sold four of them, and I've got 20, excluding this and one that had a bird had uh, aimed at and hit, uh, which I'm not going to clean up or attempt to. Um, I've got 22 pennants. I've sold four only for between $9.99 and $14.99 plus shipping. They weigh about two ounces. 
You fold them in half, put them in a poly bag. I got $60 off of a dollar so far. And profit on that's probably easily over $50. I mean, so if you see pennants out there, especially college pennants and obscure colleges, you know, I mean, I sold a Richmond, St. Lawrence, um, Knox College, and what was the last one I sold? Uh, San Francisco University. So, easy money, easy money. Get them for a quarter, flip them for nine to fifteen dollars a pop. I did see some going for higher money. They're vintage, and some of those are big money. So check out pennants. There, if they're out there, grab them because those are uh, those are things I would have overlooked in the past. But now that I've seen them, and for a quarter, I, I grabbed them just on the premise that I'd make five or six, seven dollars a piece. But I'm making much more. So can't say enough about those. Thanks again for all the subscribers. Uh, as I last checked, I lost one yesterday, but I'm at 246 as of this video and uh, trying to keep climbing. If you like what you saw, as JT said, hit that thumbs up. Hit the notification bell or not. Notification bell is just going to let you know when I got a video come up. Typically, I make them every day, every morning, but on yard sale days, I do them later in the day, but I do make one every day. I'm very transparent. I tell you what I got. Um, and what I made um, and what I profited and what you should be looking for. And again, I don't know everything, nor does anyone else that's doing it. If you think you don't know how to get into this, uh, you can because it's, it's all about comping, meaning look up the item on your phone, find out what the value is, what it's selling for, not what it's listed for. And if the cost of goods, like the pennants, is a quarter and you can make $10 on it, plus shipping, meaning after fees and everything, you're gonna clear maybe seven, eight dollars, you grab them. I mean, it's easy. It's easy money and there's plenty of money to be had in it. So there's a ton of pickers out there <laughs> and they're out there early. So you gotta get out and it is work. It is work and it's hard work. Don't let anybody tell you it isn't. It's very difficult to do this for the hours that you gotta put in when you get the kind of listings that I have. Now, most YouTubers don't have the listings that I have, which is currently about 2,700 plus. Um, but if you do a 500 or, or 300, 200, you're going to make some good money. And depending on the items you buy and the cost of goods, keeping them low, selling as high as you can, you're going to make some money. So again, check me out. I'm on Instagram under uh, the cap guy underscore Oklahoma. If you want to chat or want got a question about something, let me know. Otherwise, subscribe, please. It's free. And uh, I will talk to you tomorrow, and we'll get into what I sold. And y'all have a great rest of your day. Stay cool, stay safe, and have a great day. Cap guy out.